One time for your mind, two time for your soul. Y'all already see it on the shirt, motherfucker. Stop playing. Hey, sorry, <laughs> secret. <laughs> <laughs> Look, y'all want to know the kind of conversations that go on when Cuzzo show up? It be about that new hip-hop shit and the old hip-hop shit. So we just fucking chop it up and all that shit. And I give her my motherfucking, you know, experience. And she tells me what the fuck these fuck niggas is doing. <laughs> I'm dancing like, oh, no. <laughs> right, right. You know what I'm saying? Because, so, let me introduce her. This is Sig the Trick. Sig her signature, a.k.a. Sig the Trick, that prima donna chick. <laughs> That's my cousin. Family. Real. Real blood. Like, you know. <laughs> Look. <laughs> <laughs> if you can't tell from her attitude, that's your problem. <laughs> because... How does this game, this game is different from when I was doing it, right? Mm -hmm. And lots of times, I've learned from experience. And, I, and a story we were telling earlier about how security be making people not like you. Mm -hmm. You have to stay in control of your security mm -hmm. because you will lose a lot of people that love you because of your security. They have to let you... Say, yo, listen, all right, it's time to go now. And you give them the wink, mm -hmm. and they take care of that. You never be the evil one, and that's the way business works. Right. And so when you have security that's going to keep pushing people out your way, they don't even know that security's name. They just know that your that name. motherfucker was with sick, and I don't like her security, and so they don't like you. Never let these motherfuckers listen. I'll let you know. Or even the company that you keep. Right. Because some people, some people won't like you from the company that you keep. They'll be like, oh, well, I don't like them. And I don't trust being around them and you around them. So if I chill with you. So, but no, you know. I say to that cuss, fuck them. Yeah, no. That's, I mean, that's how I move. If I like you, I'm messing with you. Like, if you don't mess with me because of that, then you ain't really mess with me. Right. That's how I look at and it. And I don't but, deal with that high school shit. Go ahead. Yeah, but that's how some people move. You will see some people that like want to mess with you behind the scenes, but don't want to show people they mess with you because it's cool not to mess with you. But it's okay. You mess with them. Here's how I say. If you know a motherfucker's a liar, fuck with them. Just never give them a chance to lie on you. Mm -hmm. If a motherfucker's a thief, never give them a chance to steal from you. Fuck it. Right. Motherfucker like to tell stories. You tell that nigga is green. You tell that motherfucker is blue. You tell that motherfucker is red. Mm -hmm. And however the story comes back to you, whether it be green, whatever, red, you know right. who the fuck nigga is. You know what I'm right, saying? Right, right. But deal with everybody. Fuck them. You just keep yourself isolated by not letting a liar lie on you, a thief steal from you. I fuck with you, though. Right, right. Because when you fuck with these people, you learn shit. Everything is a learning experience. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. A thief gonna tell you how he steals, so you never gonna get caught like that. A liar gonna tell you how he lied like a motherfucker, so you ain't gonna never be able to have a nigga lie on you like a lying-ass nigga do. Right. You know what I mean? So, like, what do you do with, like, people... That you feel is, you know, in position that, okay, I'm not going to say position to put anybody anyway, because I do believe no one could put you in position. They could put a word, but you put yourself in position because you got to do the work. But to people that you're around, that you will see do certain things for other people, but not you, but always around you. Who give a fuck? I don't, but let's give people an example because how do you show them not to give a fuck? Because there's some people who don't know. Seriously. All right, there's some people that are like really be on some. Now, you know me and you know I'm that not give a fuck mm -hmm. now. Right? Here's how you show a motherfucker you give a, don't give a fuck. You never have to ask them for nothing. You've been around here. Do I have to ask anybody for anything no. that's film related? <laughs> that's crazy because you don't need to film, but now you are. But do I have to ask? Any? No. Nope. Do I have to ask anybody music related? No. Do I have to ask anybody when it comes to editing? No. I got all the effects. I've shown that. I've made fucking fireballs come from my hands. Type of shit that fucking 
Hollywood niggas do. Mm -hmm. I don't ask nobody for shit. So that's how you keep ahead of the game. Can I can I share something with you? So like okay. with me, right? My theory is I do ask people, but I ask you one time. Whatever your answer is, and I don't always ask right away. You never know when I'm asked. But if I do ask, I give you one time so it can never be what you never ask. So you never did this. I ask because I believe a closed mouth don't get fed. But I won't ask unless I know I could give back or I could make your situation bigger for lending. Because there's always going to be a lend, right? But if it gets to the point that I ask, you deny. I'm still going to get to what I ask for. <laughs> But it may take a little longer, but I'm still going to get to what I asked for. I just, I, I don't mess with you like that no more. Is that wrong? Like, with no. Because I just that's feel like it wrong. shows you ain't mess with me. Because, let me tell you why I respect you so much. In all of the years that you've been doing and reached where you're at right now, I could never fucking think of me picking up my phone and you asking me anything to propel your career forward. Right. Anything you ever showed me was, look, cuz, look what I did. Look at what I'm doing now. I'm getting ready to do this. I'm going to be over here. Motherfucker, you know more old school niggas that I love than I motherfucking know. Mm. Nigga, you could call Too Short and be like, yo, Too Short, that's my motherfucking man. But mm -hmm. I can't even call him, nigga. You know what I'm saying? It's like you never asked me for anything. And where you at now? Fuck that. You the major bones. And whatever I can do to fucking help you propel. I know every motherfucker in hip hop that, you know. <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? And whatever it is. But that's one of the main reasons why I fuck with you. Not because you're my family. Outside of being fucking family. You never ask me for anything. You always made your own bone. Like you said. Okay. I'm going to ask for you right now. But if you don't do it, I'm still going to get it. But don't feel fucked up when I get it. And don't yeah. look at me and then come to ask me, yo, what's up? Yeah, Nigga. like, or oh, even, that's the thing. And, like, I don't want to take it as, like, being Damn bitter it. or being, holding a grudge and shit like that. It just, like, it shows, because, like, I'm the type of person, I could have nothing. I make something to help. So I feel like people that's in my circle, they should do that for me whenever because I never ask. But if they uh, don't, uh, nope, that's I'm just I'm going to save opinion. you up. Okay. Let me save you some shit. Here's how you save yourself from the stress of that. You never expect nobody to do the same thing that you do for them. Mm -hmm. If they don't do it, so what? If you did it, do it out of your heart. Mm -hmm. But never do it with the expectations that they'll do it for you. So when you need it and you ask them, you won't be disappointed. That they won't do the same. It's not for more you. so of the giving though. It's just the feeling of knowing, like, I hear damn, you. I would get, I, I fuck with her. The Lose way she that. With me. Okay, how do you do that? Lose that because you can't deal with your heart. You deal with your heart. That means the motherfucking you dealing with an emotion. You can't so, deal. Ah! Okay. You can't deal with an emotion. You know that bitch didn't do what you would do for her. You got to go to logic. I can't fuck with this hoe no more. Because if you keep dealing with your heart, you're going to get fucked up three more times. Is that only an industry or what everybody? Every motherfucking body. I don't give a fuck. Okay. I don't give a fuck. Ain't nobody got your back. When you down and out, motherfucker. You know what? Motherfuckers will fuck with you and give you all the props. But the man, I'm going to show you a perfect example. When I was on top. Had all the bread. Getting back in the camera. You ain't in the camera. Oh. <laughs> when I was on top, I had all the bread and I did everything for motherfucking my friends, this, that, and third when I fell, right? And I needed a fucking container of milk for my fucking kid to feed my kid from the niggas that I held down. And a motherfucker say, ain't you MC Shan? You supposed to? I didn't question it. It's okay. I didn't feel anything. I just fucking moved into that situation I just told you.